Hi Aries, welcome to your general monthly, monthly reading for August 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and a person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Aries, for the month of August. Page of Cups. All right. Knight of Pentacles. That could be Taurus. Five of Cups. I don't want it crooked here. There we go. Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups. Justice. That could be Libra. And Two of Cups. All right. What's going on there? There we go. There you guys. So we got Taurus and Libra. It doesn't have to be, but could be. Hmm. So what's this Knight of Pentacles about for Aries? Strength. <laughs> well, if that's not a call to be patient and watch things unfold, can't stay the course. I don't know what is. Um, patiently waiting for the desired planned outcome. It's like you've laid plans and you're being patient. What's this five of cups for Aries for August? Page of Pentacles. Okay. So there's disappointment about um, things going slower than usual or uh, an offer less than desired. Um, perhaps you've been let go of your job or you're just not getting the work or the shifts or it's too uncertain at work and it's causing some dissatisfaction, disappointment, disillusion um, if that's at work. If not, this could be a, a social, romantic relationship, family relationship, something to where you're just less than thrilled about an offer being put forth or this could be breadcrumbing. What's this Ten of Wands about for Aries? Four of Pentacles. Okay. All right. What's this Seven of Cups? So here's the thing. You've been putting a lot of effort towards something um, that you're kind of putting, uh, again, a lot of effort, but getting very little payoff. And it's just not, it's on top of everything else you're dealing with. You're like, you know what? I don't need this to, to let me down also. I don't need this to not be there for me as well. Um, okay, so that jumped, what was that? Magician, magician. Okay, so this, I think this has to do with work. In particular, you've been working a lot and you just can't seem to get ahead financially or feel like you're kind of landing on your feet. Um, there's, it could be that there's, you never feel quite settled. There's a lot of chaos before, or just everything's always up in the air. You don't have that settled feeling that you should for the amount of work you're putting towards this job. Could be a relationship. But for whatever you're doing that you're putting so much effort and time towards, there's very little payoff for you. Um, is this you, you know, thinking, okay, um, I've got to just stay the course and be patient. It'll pay off down the road. I think this is you deciding to um, not do that anymore. It's almost like you're, it's, you're not ready to quite do anything about it yet, but you're thinking about it. You're exploring options about what to do about this uh, situation where it's supposed to be a give and take much more so than it is. What's this justice card about for Aries? Whoopsie. What's this justice card about for Aries? Justice for Aries. Okay, Justice. <laughs> it could be Libra. Nice. That's yay for that. What's this Two of Cups about? Oh, hello. What's this Two of Cups? Death. Okay, so here's the thing. Whatever you've been devoted to is going to balance out and you're going to see it differently. Could be an ending because we have the death card here, but this could be that there's an end to all this chaos and order, balance, give and take is restored. So I don't know what you're going to do that has to do with that. I don't know what's going to happen, but you must know something because here you are being patient and biding your time 
until the balance with this connection is restored. Again, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could be um, you uh, devoting a lot of time to your own work efforts. Like you, you have a, a side hustle you're trying to get off the ground. Uh, a job that you really wanted you just don't find fulfilling. But maybe that's why you're not doing anything yet because you're waiting for it to be restored and balanced. You're waiting for things to calm down. Um, looks like you can see the end in sight because we in fact do have this connection being transformed. It's going to go through a change, but that doesn't mean it has to end. It looks like you feel pretty, um, pretty solid or confident about your chances here. So I don't know if this means that you're walking away from something you really gave a lot of your attention and time to, and you're just like, nope, not anymore. Or if you're waiting for a lot of the busyness to die down and you two can get back to what once was again it could be a job or a relationship what else for areas oh i don't have my glasses on the wolf beware who you trust okay is this an issue of trust like you just you don't know if you can trust this person perhaps Maybe that's why that's what the change is about. This is also about trust and establishing um, trust because things are truthful, things are out in the open, things are balanced. So we've got we've got issues of trust here. Is that why? Hmm. What else for Aries? Believe in your dreams. Good for you. If you want better, go for it. The thing is, is that you're not, um, it's like you like your chances. So you're not afraid to risk here. I think you're just wanting to give your due diligence on something. I think you're, you just know that now is not the right time to act, but you're pretty solid in what your evidential experience is here. You're not doubting yourself. You're just waiting for perhaps the right time to handle something. Um, hmm. Okay. We got three of pentacles here too. Is that just someone's wanting to still date other people? Um, or you're just not getting as much, many shifts as you want at work. You know what I mean? There's something you're just, you're not getting your needs met and you're, you've been kind of waiting or, um, figuring it'll all play out and calm down. And I think that's when you're going to make your decision. But the, what, what looks like it might be happening here is that your decision is kind of being made while you're waiting. So by the time you get to where things are calm again and you can kind of look at this situation or person head on and go, okay, do, do we still line up here? It could be that you decide, you know what? We don't. I've, I've waited. I've kind of um, thought that maybe, but now that the deciding time is finally here, I'm not sure I feel the same. That's going to be your choice here. What else for... I think you're being asked to wait and I think in the waiting is when you form your decision and then you wait until it's time to address it with the person. The thing is that you're not going to do the fade. You're not going to do the, the whole ghosting thing. You're waiting till you can see this person quite literally face to face again or have another meeting with them, whether it's, you know, um, over the computer, or over the, you're, you're going to be talking one on one with them about your decision or about what has happened. What does this say? Seven of Raphael time. Okay. <laughs> I was looking that way when I was talking, I didn't see time to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. Okay. So seven of Raphael, that's seven of cups, seven of cups here. So this is about you again, gathering data and formulating and then being ready to have that heart to heart talk or to have that not it's not a confrontation it's just kind of over the course of you gathering information and waiting you've come to realize maybe unexpectedly so that all of a sudden it's like i don't know if i want this anymore i don't i don't think i want to be a part of that anymore that 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 okay this one it's a very um I think by the time that conversation happens, you're emotionally detached to where you can have it very sort of civilly and objectively and even compassionately, but there's, you're not really emotionally attached by the time you're able to discuss this issue. Okay. 
I that the speaking for the need to detoxify also I think that's you just this is a situation you do need to pull back from um, because there's so much output on your part and there's just, you're just not getting the rewards that you should see for it as far as financial compensation or involvement from somebody else or interest from somebody else attention um, it's kind of a one way it's a lot of effort on your part with no stability no assurances no anything that's what it is. Okay, so we got the the lion strength on its side here and then we've got knight okay wow look at that you see that knight of pentacles and the strength card so <laughs> kind of doubling down on this that um you've been waiting you've been planning you've been staying the course and doing what you've been expected to do and and seeing things through but your interest has waned and you're uh seeing things for what they are now and there's this issue of, is this safe for me emotionally anymore? Can I trust this? Is this in my best interest? And I think you might be feeling like, you know what? It's not. It's, it's nothing that is ever going to give me the solid foundation that I need. It's only halfway at best. I need to look elsewhere or I, I need to choose elsewhere. I need to look at what I'm valuing. Believe in your dreams. Whatever plans you've laid forth and whatever you've got your eyes set on, from after this, this is a very good go for it card. <laughs> also pay attention to your dreams, any synchronicities you see with numbers or colors. Okay, all right, Aries, I hope this was helpful. This is your August reading. Um, hope to see you in the next reading. Much love to you, take care.